I, I did a purchase and, and they, they asked me, would you like to add to cart? And I said, yes, I would like to add a cart. And then I added the cart. <laughs> so I know exactly Maybe what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I, I heard you say pard chess. Maybe that's what you, you don't purchase things. You pard chess. I, I pard chess. I, do, I, I change everything so that my name is involved in it somehow. <laughs> I'm, I'm like Ricky Henderson and uh, uh, who's the rapper that does that? Is it... Uh, Oh. All of them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess I was hoping there was a more specific answer, but yes. Yeah, and you don't add to cart. You add to part. 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 Uh, part. Uh, part. Anyway, uh, welcome to the part cast. <laughs> what, what did you part, Jess? Uh, you know what? The tickets to another one of those uh, pop-up drive-ins they're doing back to the future. So we're going to go and see that oh. uh, this uh, cool. Friday. Ooh, fun. Where yeah. is that? Is that at the Twin Pines Mall? That is at the uh, Twin Pines, <laughs> yep. Um, and we got to be there at a certain time, from what I understand. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> it's actually right, Matt, uh, to, to, be, to answer you seriously, it's right there in Glendale at the old Sears parking lot. Oh, cool. Hey, hey. That's where we, we should saw, put up a fake... Twin Pines sign that would be uh, that'd be a fun little, little we're in a pandemic to... Elliot I don't know if that's the best <laughs> idea to have people going out and hammering I may not know how this pandemic works I may not understand what's going on but I know hammering is probably not a good idea no activity outside I wouldn't hammer when you hammer it the, it spreads the virus as it hits it's it, right? the virus shoots out of the hammer are you coughing on the nail <laughs> this guy is the guy that I saw hammering is and now I think we should uh, I think there should there should be a mandate no hammering and uh, wear your mask yeah. All right. All right. Jimmy, when I heard uh, about Biden uh, being president elect, I took to the streets and I, I started dancing. Did you? I, I was uh, 915. I was at Hillhurst and uh, uh, Los Feliz just dancing it out. Social what? distance dancing with my mask on. <laughs> I euphoria, elation. Right. Just yeah. We are the champions on a on a speak bluetooth speaker were there other like, people there dancing with you like was it a a, a a flash mob sort of thing it was it was and people oh, love it people honking and people just like there was started a caravan started and on that corner um uh it kept going well into the evening wow just people dancing I, around i i i was so like i i wanted to be part of something like that when i saw it on the on the news i wanted to be out dancing and and celebrating with like-minded happy people after all this time because we've done the marches where it was like we're marching for women's rights we're we're marching to get the the Mueller, you know make sure Mueller can follow through to do nothing let's let's march for this so like this would have been like finally one that's like we're, we're all here and we're happy and then but it's like I can't go do that because, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I, although I would have, if I was out and it started on a corner, I would have certainly jumped out of my car with my mask and danced, but I wasn't yeah. going to get in my car and go yeah. downtown and join a mob. Sure. Sure. That's smart. Right. I went for a bike ride on Saturday and, uh, there were people, uh, at an intersection where there's a bike path, uh, like cheering and waving their signs and, and everyone was honking as they went by. And, and I was like, yay. And I stopped and took a picture. And so all this jubilation and positivity. And there was <laughs> one guy in an apartment building on his balcony going, go the fuck home, go home, go the fuck home. Just for like five, like for the five minutes I was there, it was not, he did not stop yelling that. And I, I used, I'm, I tried like in my head, I was like, I hope that's just because he's tired of all the honking. Like he's just mad. He's mad about the honking more than anything else. Cause it's a Saturday morning. Uh, maybe he's just, uh, put out but uh but would you really be that angry if you understood if you were on board with the celebration Probably. Matt are you watching California Dreams or not you don't want that uh, interrupted that's a good <laughs> reference from uh, Saturday mornings of days past yeah I, l- I loved that show uh, it was great it, it was, was post Saved by the Bell right yeah uh, and, and, and by the way just as horrible but just as watchable yeah what was the oh god what was the the screech on that show also had a name that was oh, like yeah. screech but it was like was it like styles or something what the hell was that guy uh, I don't uh, remember and I saw every episode <laughs> I, are you guys excited about the I'm kind of excited about the Saved by the Bell reboot I got to be honest oh thank I'm in. you is it going to be I, dark and gritty no it's, it's, it's <laughs> imagine like, right it, it looks like it's it looks more like it's 90210 it's more like a drama, like a it's like a high school melodrama, but there is humor in it. Uh, Does he um, still going to be able to stop time is really the big question. Oh, that is a good question. Come on, man. 
<laughs> I think it's a good question, Elliot. Do not take that. Uh, don't take that from him today. We're not Look, I'm used to. I'm used to that a, from Matt. This is a new day. <laughs> well, yeah, but I, I'm just confused because I don't remember. Did Zach stop time? Yeah, Zach yeah. stop time. Yeah. There's a whole there's a whole conspiracy theory about how of how it's all in his head because he can stop time or he's a magician or there's a bunch of different yeah. stuff. Because when don't you first remember that, yeah, I don't uh, remember either. The first thing I thought when you said that was that other show out of this world where the character it was a it was another syndicated sitcom with a girl who uh, could stop time, but like she was half alien. Her dad had, had yeah, yeah, yeah. another planet and impregnated her earth mom and uh oh, yeah and that, that gave her the power to if she if she went like this yes it, uh, time it was that show was great god that was one of my favorite shows but uh i thought you were confused that's why no I, no no because because he he would he would talk to us yeah he would he well that i remember wall. but yeah, everybody did, else would be he, frozen didn't he like yeah, yeah didn't yeah. he straight up time out like yeah. he would do that all right. Well, I will report. It starts next week. I think I'll report back because Zach is still in it. He's like a congressman now, or the or oh, governor. Wow. I think he's like the, the mayor. I think of of. I think, I think he might be the governor, even though is he the governor? Maybe you're right. Maybe he's the governor. My and, roommate uh, was an extra on that show, so oh, okay. that'll be. Interesting Do you want to get him a book on the show to enter so we can interview him? <laughs> I don't think that needs to happen. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We got to. Uh... To hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, or visit NeverNotFunny.com.